I ran this uh, the note which I created through ten forensic pathologists. All of them told me without blinking their eyes that this is a case of death, uh, poison. So on the basis of this data, I am convinced that the 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 death as things stand today is not natural. is called the father of the Indian nuclear program and he was that in every sense of the phrase. He died in a plane crash which many say wasn't an accident. Vikram Sarabhai is called the father of the Indian space program and so he was the one who birthed and nurtured ISRO. He died of an apparent cardiac arrest which also has a cloud of doubt over it. If this was the fate of the fathers, could the children be far behind? The Department of Atomic Energy, in response to an RTI, stated that 11 nuclear scientists had died unnatural deaths between 2009 and 2013. In response to another RTI, ISRO stated that 684 of its employees died between 1995 and 2010, that is at a rate of 45.6 per year. The agency did not specify causes of deaths. R. Madhavan's movie, Rocketry, The Numbi Effect, is the first to bring these disturbing facts to public consciousness. And until 2014, when nationalism was ignited in India, neither the Indian state or Indians truly acknowledged our brilliant minds. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net.